What's up everyone, Nick here from TV Box Top with another 1080p projector review. Today's model is from the brand CozyCost and this model has a built-in Android TV operating system with Dolby Audio and Digital Keystone Correction. It also has a very large display up to 300 inches and claims to have 8K display. So this is the CozyCost X1 and in this review we take a look at its design and all its features and let's see if it delivers on quality and performance, stay tuned. So I'm back. The X1 has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080p. It has a display brightness of 12,000 lumens or 300 anti lumens. A contrast ratio of 10,000 to 1. Its display type is LCD. Its light source is LED. It has a maximum viewing distance of 18 feet that delivers a 200 inches display and a minimum viewing distance of 3.9 feet that delivers a 40 inches display. It features Android 9 built-in operating system. Its CPU is the Amlogic T972 and its GPU is the Mali G31. It has 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage. It has T2TR dual band 2.4GHz plus 5GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. It supports 8K and 4K decoding with Dolby Digital Plus audio decoding. Contained in this package is the X1 model itself, one Bluetooth remote with voice commands feature, one HDMI cable, one AC power cable, a user manual, and a carrying case. This model adopts an all-plastic design with a front IR receiver, some product branding, and the projector lens. To its right for input-output contains two HDMI input ports, two USB ports, one AV port, a headphone jack, and its exhaust vent. To its left, you have its focus adjustment wheel, its AC input power socket, and an intake vent. To its rear contains a rear-facing IR sensor, a removable cover with a dust filter for its built-in internal speaker and cooling fan. At the top, you have RGB manual press button controls. And to its base, it has four anti-skid rubber feet, a screw type kickstand, and screw holes for mounting to a ceiling mount. So when you start up for the first time, it boots into the Android operating system with a startup animation. Then you are presented with the option to pair the Bluetooth remote by pressing and holding the left and right buttons on the direction pad. Once you have paired the Bluetooth remote, you are taken to the Android launcher. This launcher is called the Mbox launcher, and unlike your TV box launchers, it's customized to suit the functions of this projector, consisting of shortcuts to its screen mirroring function, options to switch between its various input sources, its digital keystone correction feature, and its settings area on the top panel. The bottom panel is where you can access basic Android apps such as the Play Store, Netflix, YouTube, and a shortcut to the apps section. This launcher does not have a navigation bar or status bar. This firmware was built using the Android 9 SDK and here is its firmware build information with access to developer options. It comes in 54 various languages. It has Google Assistant's feature. Under picture settings, you can change its picture mode from a selection of presets or you can set your own custom color settings. You can change its aspect ratio, its noise reduction level. Under projection method is where you can change its projection direction. Under four point keystone is where you can adjust its corner keystone correction. It's zoom settings. When you switch to HDMI input, you can get advanced surround sound settings. Additional picture display settings such as color temperature. Other settings such as HDMI CEC options. 
sleep timer options, a dynamic backlight auto adjustment feature, and HDMI ARC audio latency settings. Due to its Android operating system, it has the ability to play HDR videos and videos with surround sound audio formats such as Dolby and DTS internally via USB without the need for an external streaming device connected via HDMI. 4K and 8K videos can be played using an Android media player and the projector will downscale to 1080p. A win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico, but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points, the mosaic of the camp. <laughs> first object-based cinematic audio with powerful moving audio that trans for mobile screen mirroring pairing your mobile device is easy and straightforward simply open the screen casting section and select between Miracast, iOSCast, or DLNA. Then scan with your preferred mobile screen sharing app to cast your mobile device. For watching paid subscription movie services, its operating system is Android TV OS and it comes with Google Widevine Level 1 with no HDCP protection. This is the one time HDCP is not needed because there is no video output via HDMI, so Widevine Level 1 is sufficient. Also, the router checker app shows that the device is not rooted, the other requirement needed to view paid subscriptions in HD. You can only get up to HD on this projector due to its maximum resolution of 1080p. And just to confirm the resolution, here the test pattern utility video confirms approximately after 20 seconds it achieves 1080p resolution. The Android TV version of YouTube plays up to 4K 2160p with no HDR. However, its viewpoint is limited to 1080p. So moving on to its HDMI input feature. If you are not satisfied with the performance of the built-in Android operating system, you have the option to connect your streaming devices via its HDMI ports. We just saw that it has Widevine Level 1. This means you can connect any official streaming devices such as the Google Chromecast or Amazon Fire TV devices and it will play videos with audio. Here, I connected the Google Chromecast and it plays movies with no audio restrictions. This is what the display looks like when applied to 3D gaming. For connecting external speakers and audio receivers, you simply open the settings area under Remote and Accessories and scan for a new Bluetooth device. Once your device is detected, pair to it to begin using your speaker or receiver as your main audio device. Mm -hmm. 
And as I conclude, let's take a look at its system and hardware information. So the manufacturer of this hardware is DroidLogic and it has 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage. Its Bluetooth version is 5.0. Its CPU, which is the Amlogic T972, is a quad-core Cortex A55 processor clocked at 1.7GHz configured in 32-bit mode. Its GPU is the Mali G31 with OpenGL version 3.2. It has dual band 2.4 plus 5 GHz Wi Fi. Its operating system is Android 9 Pi and it's not rooted. This information here is incorrect. Under Devices, it shows that it does not have Vulkan support. Under Temperature, it idles around 65 degrees Celsius. And under Codex, it has all the decoders for the playback of 4K HDR videos and videos with Dolby Atmos ESC3 and DTS HD. It does not have the AV1 decoding or Dolby Vision decoders. And that's its system and hardware information. This hardware scored 73,389 in the Antutu benchmark. And for fan noise, it's a very quiet projector generating only 44 decibels. In summary, the Cosicost X1 is the next step in the evolution of projector technology combining basic projector functionality with advanced Android operating system features. In doing so, it solves the issue of having to connect an external device to gain access to services such as Netflix, Google Play services, playing 4K videos and videos with surround sound audio formats, and to enjoy all the features you usually enjoy on your certified Android TV box. However, I'm not satisfied with its low RAM and internal storage. I believe it should be standard on all Android TV devices, a minimum of 4GB, 32GB. The other issue is its focus adjustment wheel. The focus adjustment wheel is not the smooth force feedback type and can be a challenge to get the finest focus. So viewers, there you have it. This was my review of the Cosicost X1 Android 9 1080p projector. Currently, it's being sold on Amazon with a $100 discount coupon, so to take advantage before it expires, see the link in the description below this video to be taken directly to this offer. Viewing this product on Amazon using my links provides monetary support to this channel, so thanks in advance for your support. So give this video the thumbs up to support this channel. If this is the first time viewing one of my videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell before leaving to be notified when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.